All people already have their QFS account set up. It contains all their personal data and their DNA. In the US the money from your birth certificate is already deposited in that account, as well as the repayment of the loans you have requested, student loans, mortgages, etc. We all have monies that is ours in those accounts. You do not need to have ZIM bonds or dinar. It is money that you have earned during your life and that is in that account. Once everyone has collected the bonuses, the general public will come, they will be called to the redemption center, they will be given a QFS card and they can use their money. QFS account, Ben Fulford, the below UBA level is in the US, other countries will have corresponding levels. Your QFS account is for yourself and not a joint account with your spouse, children, or parents, but details will be announced once we know how it works clause. When you are a child, your parents cannot access your account except for the following reasons. Now if you have a parent, child, or spouse who needs care and can't access their account, there will be no requirement that you be 21 to access your QFS account, as some younger people may want to move out and even get married to access these funds, but you must be only 18 years old. Through EBS, you will discover that you have a quantum financial system account that has earned interest on your birth certificate and has a lot of money in it. Funds from your bank and credit union will be transferred to your QFS account once you have access to your QFS account. Homeless people need to be notified early so they can go to a designated location to access a QFS account with a temporary address to then find their own place to live and restart their lives. People who go to prison must pay their prison expenses from their QFS account. If there is a death in the family, it is unclear whether the money in the QFS account will be transferred to other family members or if the QFS account will be closed because everyone else has enough money of their own. I don't think it will get to the point where you have to have a fingerprint or DNA match to access, but if you lose your card, you will have to verify yourself to get a new card. An 18-year-old will have at least 3,109,086 in a QFS account, a 30-year-old will have at least 5,181,810, a 50-year-old will have at least 8,636,350, a 65-year-old will have at least 11,227,255. Note, the older the person, the more interest income tax refund payments will go into their QFS account.